several months ago I published a video on how to connect a Jackery 500 power supply to a Renogy 100 watt portable suitcase solar panel. Since that video I've received feedback from multiple viewers wanting to have a more step-by-step -step set of instructions on how to do that. So that's what this video is about. And before we get started one thing I have to emphasize is that when you're working on a solar panel Whenever there is light getting into the solar cells, even artificial light in some cases, you are working on a live circuit. So what I like to do is take the Renogy suitcase cover and shield the solar panels from any light source as much as possible. The basic idea when connecting the Jackery system is that you want to connect only the solar panel and not the charge controller because the Jackery unit has its own built-in charge controller. The solar panel ships from Renogy in this configuration. We have the solar panel pre-connected to the charge controller and then the charge controller itself not connected to anything. And we also have a adapter cable to connect to the battery. And just to review, if you're going to use this to charge an independent battery, you'd simply connect the battery clips to the output of the charge controller and then you can charge your battery. So that's the default configuration of the unit. What we simply need to do is to disconnect the solar panel from the charge controller and then reconnect the solar panel to the Jackery. Well, you have to buy a cable and I specify the cable in the comments section and also on my website, but it's basically a eight millimeter cable on one end, which goes to the Jackery charge port and then MC4 connectors on the other side, which connects to the solar panel. And when we connect the solar panel to the Jackery, again, the only thing we're going to be using out of this whole thing is this set of wires that goes to the solar panel itself. We're going to take this out of the circuit and we do that by depressing on the two nibs and disconnecting like this. So what we're going to do, disconnect the solar input to the charge controller from the solar panel itself. You can see that one solar panel hardwired into the junction box for the other solar panel. In fact, they are wired in parallel. And then the other solar panel comes out on this pigtail. That is the only connector on the solar panel. Now we'll take our eight millimeter cable, the one that we had to buy, and that connects to the solar panel. And it can only connect one way because we have a, we have a male here and a female there, a male here and a female there, so you can't reverse them. And when you do connect them together, you can verify that we have a red wire here and a red wire here, black here and black here. And so now the only remaining step is to connect the jackery to the solar panel. And we'll just take get these wires for the charge controller out of the way. And again, you can see nothing in the charge controller is connected. With our Jackery 500, we simply take the eight millimeter connection and connect it to the input port. And if you look at the connection diagram, you will see the three steps we just completed. Number one, we disconnect the charge controller from the solar panel. And number two, we connect the MC4 connectors from the eight millimeter adapter to the solar panel. And three, we connect the eight millimeter end of the adapter cable to the Jackery 500. That's all there is to it. And it's a windy day, so it's going to be a little bit noisy maybe. Hopefully you can hear me. But you see we have about 16 watts charge current uh, from the input reading. And you can see I'm not using the optimum angle to the sun. I just set the thing out. So if I angle this towards the sun and fully opened up the panel, we probably would get about 40 or 50 watts of charge current. Visit rvproject.com.